Hey, you gotta get back here. Ain't gonna go nowhere till all these are glued on, dang it. <laughs> No bailing halfway through the job. Uh, see if we can get this in the right spot. Right there. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, I'm going to put this one on. We'll overlap that seam just a little bit. So, what you do that, I need to sand this. piece actually looks like it's one piece but it's got a bend in it you know and I can't get I know I ain't gonna be able to get a bend to look very good at all so I'm attempting to do it like this which for its purpose I think this will be sufficient. What do you guys think? What you think there, in no bill, navigator bill? That'll work, huh? Okay. Let's glue this one up. Yeah, I'm starting my party plane tomorrow. This time it's for reals. I already got them. I already got one cut, so I'll just have to trace that one. Remember, I got one made from way back when I made them wing molds, plugs. So, uh, all I gotta do is trace it and on some more wood and I got two. I'm gonna lay them up side by side, same time. Take this long to do one as it will too, you know. Ain't like I'll save any time. What a good use for a for sale sign, huh? Bam! Got my 3D layered look going on. See that? See that? And all of this just got to really stay together until I pull the mold apart. <laughs> if it comes apart, it ain't no big deal. No, it'll be all right. If it makes it when I put my resin on, that's all we gotta do. Well, I'm afraid if I put it on with epoxy, it'd pop right off. You know, or even CA. That's why I'm using this kind of rubbery glue. I'm hoping they stay on when I pull the mold apart, to tell you the truth, but. You know, no big deal. This glue will scrape, you know, come right off. You just get this glue rolling and it'll come off and re glue it if I need to remold the wings for some crazy reason.
So guess what tomorrow is, everybody? Guess what tomorrow is? Give you three guesses. What is what is going down tomorrow? What is tomorrow? Huh? Let's see. Today's what's today's date? October. October what? Uh oh yeah, it's the 29th, ain't it? Bam, what do you think? Now I'll sand this plastic too, I'll get it a little extra shiny. That's gonna look good, ain't it? Then I can put my gear door hatch and right on top of right right in this stuff and you know work right around it. When I get my mold done, you just watch. Molded servo covers, molded gear door hatches, all that stuff. Nothing but the best for you guys. Too much glue on this one. I'll let it set just a minute and cut it out of there. Cut it out with an exacto so it don't smear. Yeah. See, I got this guy on my on this shoulder over here. On this shoulder over here. He said, "Oh, wipe it up right now." And I got the guy on the other shoulder saying, no, let it dry. And take a razor blade and cut around it. See? You got to listen to that other guy now. <laughs> no need to panic. Bam. There we go. get through the molding process what y'all think huh I think that looks pretty dang good what do you think huh Good enough for the girls I go with. So that's it for tonight. I'll throw you a couple movies. Now, tomorrow, I am going to, today's Friday already. Man, it snuck up on me. I woke up today thinking it's Thursday. But, uh, tomorrow's Saturday. We're going to get on these, get them molded, and then uh, get trucking on to some other parts. So stay tuned, people. We'll do it all right here live on YouTube. So, thanks for tuning in, in to this episode of Bob TV. And we'll see you tomorrow. Same Bob time. Same Bob station.